Good evening from Z Hostel in Manila. It is just gone midnight. I'm just heading to Naia Airport Terminal 3 where I will be catching a Cebu Pacific flight at 3.50 in the morning, which is a ridiculous time to schedule a flight, but I don't make the rules. I'm heading to Bali where I will be spending Christmas. It's been a phenomenal two months in the Philippines and I am really, really sad to be leaving because it's kind of like a second home now because I've been staying here for so long. But it is time to move on, otherwise I'm not really a traveler anymore, I'm just a stayer. So travel to Bali I will, and I will continue the adventure from Indonesia. Success. I have landed safely here in Bali. I slept on the flight, but uh, it means I've had a total of two hours sleep all night. Which is less than ideal, but I don't have anything that I need to do today, so that's fine. Cleared immigration, and I'm now just at baggage claim waiting for my bags, before I will have to go and get some new cash. Indonesian rupiah, I think it's called, which is 18,000 to the pound, which is a crazy calculation to make, so I'm gonna be relying on the calculator a lot, I think. And then get a taxi over to Tipsy Gypsy Hostel in Changu, where I will be staying for the next five days, including Christmas. I've had a lot of horror stories about the taxi situation here. I know people do use Uber and Grab. Um, Grab is basically like Uber, but I've also heard that the local taxi drivers will try and horrendously overcharge tourists whilst also threatening the Uber and Grab drivers. So if you try and get in or out of one of those taxis in an area that there is the other taxi drivers there, they will literally drag them away and beat them up. Uh -uh, she's cancelled, no elephant riding. Here she is, my 12 and a half kilo blessing and a curse. Got myself a vitally important SIM card. I paid about 25 pounds for 30 days and 18 gigabytes worth of data, so not too bad. One of the more expensive ones that I've had, but you can't beat being connected. I can confirm that the taxi situation is in fact chaos. Just been arguing and hustling with taxi drivers for like a good 20, 30 minutes. You can get the price of 100,000 on Uber or Grab to where I'm going in Changu, but they're offering me here anywhere between 200 and 300,000. I'm not going to pray triple the price when I know I can get it cheaper, um, but they will argue and follow you and chase you and keep coming up to you. It's crazy. So I'm going to the departures area to see if I can pick up an Uber or a Grab instead. Eventually did manage to get a grab after a little bit of kerfuffle at the airport, but no problem. It's all sorted now. 45 minutes in that for the low, low price of 74,000. And now I am just arriving at my hostel area. I mean, I can't actually see it yet, but I know it's around here somewhere. The tipsy gypsy. I really hope I can just pass out soon. Just had a really nice veggie burger at this place called Pit Stop. It's refreshing to be able to find uh, actual decent vegetarian food right on my doorstep as opposed to just being able to have I don't know like rice and aubergine so I'm glad to be in good food place for sure now I'm just gonna go for a little walk around the high street of Changu see what it has to offer before heading back to my hostel to be able to check in I am just about to embark on my first ever surfing lesson I'm really really excited because I've wanted to surf for a really long time I'm not gonna take my GoPro because I think it's gonna be a little bit much to try and film and learn and concentrate and get beaten up by waves and stuff but I'll let you know how it goes it's gonna be 350,000 for two hours and I'm just gonna go hop on the back of some street Stranger scooter to go to the beach. Got my rash guard on, protect my nips, aka the money maker. Now I'm just gonna pick out a board, get sorted, and get this lesson started. I just had the most amazing time surfing. I was surfing for a good two hours here on Batu Balong Beach in Changu. Um, I went with a company called Wasata Surf Rental and Lessons. And honestly, that was incredible. Like I managed on my first go to pop up and get all the way into the shore. Granted I was using a massive, massive board, like a beginner's board, so it, it felt kind of easy, but just the ride was the thrill, it was so incredible. I can tell you now that's the first of many surfs to come, and honestly now I have a new hobby in the ocean. They're not really going to be able to keep me out ever again. My 
my shoulders, my trapezium muscles are now absolutely wrecked because the paddling, you have to paddle so far out to, uh, to be able to catch a decent wave. And any time a wave comes near you and you don't catch it, you're going to get pushed back anyway, so you have to paddle all the way back out again. It's a killer workout, but I think by tomorrow I'm going to have stronger shoulders. And Bali actually is very popular with CrossFit, so maybe if I whack in a couple of those sessions somewhere, work on this wobbly bit, and maybe I'll have some upper body strength to get some good surfing done. Next up it is happy hour here at Old Man, which is a bar on the beach. And we are allowed to take a free shower post surf, so that's very convenient. Had such an awesome time surfing today and then an awesome time at the bar too. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, follow my other social media, whatever you want to do. I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.